Hello, Senior Stoner fans. It's the real Senior Stoner back at you for your Honey Badger on steroids with a bubbler and its stand. Diamond dab of the day. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me. As always, if you enjoyed today's video, you know what to do. Join the family, send a like, and I reply to all the comments. Well, wouldn't it be nice if we could go into any situation we encounter and do well? Get along. Well, no matter where you fall on the introvert-extrovert scale, it sure would be great to have tactics to help us get along with all the people we encounter in our daily life. Getting along with others is not that complicated, but you've got to make a deliberate choice to practice and incorporate certain things into your daily interactions. We need to listen with the intent to understand. Most people do not listen with the intent to understand. They listen with the intent to reply. If you make understanding another person a priority in any social circle, you're going to find that it's extremely easy to get along with people. It is in the choice to invest time and emotional effort that causes the barriers to harmonious living. Planning or preparing yourself to understand others is a massive first step. But you got to do this by listening to what the person says. No planning your response while they're still talking. Got to make appropriate comments as they talk, including references to their statements in our responses. We need to walk in other people's shoes, like coins. Every social interaction has two sides. Sometimes those lines between people can get blurred and cause misunderstandings. Taking the time to view the situation from someone else's point of view will help us get along better with them, even if we still don't agree with their views. You can't understand or get along with someone until you've walked a mile in their shoes. So let's get walking. We need to be polite. It's quite simple. Rude people do not get along well with others. They may get along well with other rude people or subordinates, but those results haven't been proven. Be careful of others' feelings. Wit and humor at another person's expense will do more damage than you'll ever know. A polite demeanor will also leave a deeper positive impact than you immediately realize. This is big stuff, everybody. It really is. It's important for us to get our heads around this type of stuff because you need to always take the opportunity to say a kind and encouraging word to or about someone. Praise good work regardless of who did it. If criticism is needed, offer it gently, never harshly. If we recognize someone in need of encouraging, then that makes us the perfect person to do it. There are countless stories of people who've been inspired or motivated by a single needed word of encouragement at a critical time in their lives. So when we encourage and compliment people, we're creating a culture of kindness and kindness will be reciprocated because we're showing interest in others. We're showing interest in their pursuits, their work, their homes, and their families. We're going to celebrate their achievements, grit our teeth with them through the rough times, dance with people who are rejoicing, and take time to weep with those who mourn. We need to let everyone we know or meet, however humble, feel that we regard them as a person of importance. There are over 20,000 of you out there. How many times do I tell you all that I value every single one of you? Because you all came to me one at a time individually, and I totally appreciate it. So you know what has to happen? What has to happen is people around us will sense that we are supporting their best interest. And 
that we care about the ins and outs of their lives. And we will get along with them just fine. Ultimately, it comes down to keeping an open mind. Discussing, not arguing. Truly, it's the mark of a superior mind to be able to disagree without being disagreeable. Accepting that others may have a point of view different from the one we hold or believe something that we do not believe ourselves. One sign of an open mind is someone who will listen to someone else speak without interrupting, even if they disagree with the view being expressed. Differences make us human. We're like snowflakes, and idiosyncrasies make us special and unique. We need to continue to listen intently. It may not be automatically true, but the tongue and the ears cannot be used at the same time. Holding your tongue and freeing up your ears to listen actively for just a bit gives us an easier path to an open mind and allows us to learn more about the people around us. Other ways to listen intently might include refraining from one-upping or pointing out problems with the person who's speaking. Be positive. No one enjoys spending time with a pessimist because a pessimist sees the difficulty in every opportunity. An optimist sees the opportunity in every difficulty. Positive people, let's face it, are welcomed in any social situation because they continually brighten the room or the space they occupy by seeing the silver lining in each cloud. And that optimistic attitude is truly contagious. This is one situation where two negatives do not make a positive. Positive people make positive situations. And that leads to sincerity. We must, must, must be sincere. While each one of these things we've talked about is very important, none of them stands alone. All these types of things operate in some combination with one another. None more than sincerity. People will sense when we are faking a positive attitude, when we don't have genuine interest in their lives, and when our kind words are a facade. All these things we do without sincerity would end up just destroying any positive effect we were hoping to produce. But combining the things we just talked about with a heavy dose of sincerity and we will find ourselves getting along with anyone, anywhere. I truly help, hope you all enjoyed today's discussion about getting along with people in every situation that we can encounter. Let's have our diamond dab of the day with our honey badger. Here we go an old friend. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for joining me. You know what to do if you enjoyed this video. We'll see you the next time. Cheers. Thanks for joining the Real Senior Stoner, everyone. <laughs> and the Honey Badger. We can <coughs> get along with anyone. Cheers, everybody. <laughs>